The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 rumors continue. Android 4.3 spotted and not 5.0 as we thought, and Google now reaches iOS. Wait, what? I'm Jaime Rivera, and yeah, you bet, I just pulled out the iPhone from the drawer. This is Pocket Now Daily. But with the launch of the Galaxy S4, shortages were expected and they did happen. I mean, T-Mobile had to push their launch and Sprint pretty much ran out of stock immediately. So apparently Sprint is fixing the problem. We still have no word on T-Mobile, but we will keep you posted on the news. Now, on an interesting note and kind of negative, if you could call it that way, people didn't really care about the tech tiles and the whole NFC functionality of the Galaxy S3 and previous devices. But now, sadly, the tech tiles, one, don't work on the Galaxy S4 because there is a new chip on board. So. Um, Samsung, what am I supposed to do with these things? I mean, what, sell them? Apparently you have to buy the tech tiles too now. Anyways, and let's continue talking about Samsung. We've now got some rumors of the Galaxy Note 3. Yes, the Galaxy Mega letdowns were not the Galaxy Note 3. And well, now apparently we will have a six inch device that'll be rocking the Exynos 5 Octa along with three gigabytes of RAM. And for those of you that are wondering, just how good would it be for us to have that Exynos 5 Octa? Well, Michael Fisher has just got his hands on the Exynos 5 Octa version of the Galaxy S4. So hit the links in the description for his video. Now let's talk about Sony, and I'm actually dreading this because this company has the weirdest code names for their products that you could ever think of. First of all, we've got the Sony Tagari, Togari or whatever you want to call that thing, which apparently is a new phablet that Sony's building with a 6.4 inch display, 1080p, and apparently this will look a lot like the Xperia Z, only it'll be much bigger. And then we've got the Sony Onami or Honami or whatever you want to call that thing, which would be more of a mid-tier device, but apparently what's cool about these new phones is that there will be a new Trilumius display coming to these new phones, hopefully because the current Xperia lineup has terrible, terrible displays, but I wouldn't wait for these phones just now, most likely an IFA IFA in Berlin. Now let's talk about Android. For those of you that were waiting for Android 5.0 to be released at Google I.O. next month, which is just next, the next couple of weeks. Well, apparently we've got some server logs of Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, not Android 5.0 Key Lime Pie. It begs to wonder what Google's planning for their event as most of us that feel that iOS is already stale and dated also feel the same about another version of Jelly Bean for the pretty much third event in a row. Not third year, it's only been less than a year since Jelly Bean was launched and still we do want to see something new coming out from Google but sadly that probably won't be the case so stay tuned for the news. And finally for the hilarious news of the day, Google has just launched Google Now for iOS. Uh, no, I didn't say that wrong. I didn't say ice cream sandwich, I didn't say gingerbread, and I didn't say froyo. I said iOS. It's been rumored for the longest time that Google was working on a version of Google Now for iOS, but we didn't think that they'd launch it for iOS and not launch it for their legacy hardware. I mean, think about it. If you have an iPhone 3GS that was launched four years ago, you could run Google Now on that thing, and you can't do that with the Nexus One that was launched at the same time. It's kind of ironic and sort of stupid, but anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. How do you feel about Google's move? I mean, the crown jewel of Jelly Bean, the crown jewel of Android, what made me love Android was really Google Now on Jelly Bean. And as it turns out, now I can have an iPhone and pretty much have the, well, typical functionality, not necessarily the same one, but I could have these services come to iOS and not have to buy another Android phone since I know a lot of you are still stuck on Ice Cream Sandwich. A lot of you are still stuck on Gingerbread. So leave us a comment down below. How do you feel about Google's move? I honestly am frustrated. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and cell world, make sure you follow us on TalkingNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.